Hi guys, this is Snow here. I uh, wanted to create a tutorial for everyone that wants to try out Profit Trailer and in conjunction with PSAR or any other indicator to be honest. I know it's a hard learning curve because it has so many options and so many possibilities. However, you know, having in mind that 3 commas has been having a lot of issues, I thought it would be best for everyone um, that you are introduced to an alternative such as uh, Profit Trailer. So, a small introduction. Um, I tried Profit Trailer in 2018. I'm into crypto since 2017. I have lost a lot of money using this tool. Okay, just bear in mind that it is not a foolproof software. It is not an easy software to use. You have to manage your risk. You need to know what you're doing. Okay, never assume that this is a set and forget tool because it's not. Okay. Uh, as you know, 2018, some coins dropped 90% in a couple of months and no tool could s be set up to protect you against that unless you had proper risk management, which I did not have. Okay, So at one point, I, I managed to DCA all my BTC into shitcoins, basically. And at that time, without any more BTC to spend in DCA, I could not get out of the positions. So anyway, going back to positive note, I've been having really good results with this tool. I want to show you what to do to set it up, okay? And to replicate my current uh, setup. It's quite easy if you follow simple steps and if you have all the requirements at hand. And the complicated part is when it's running, making sure all the configuration is correct. So as I was saying, this tutorial is for someone who wants to have full control of what their PSAR or whatever indicator is doing and have full control of their bot. I know Profit Trailer allows you to uh, pay for a subscription with a VPS or a cloud bot or something like that. I don't know how that works. I don't use that. I use my own machines and in this case I'm using a, a clean VPS that QB Micro from uh, Discord provided me so I could show you how it is in a completely clean setup. This is a new VPS in Windows. I will uh, give you a link to try it out or purchase your own VPS, whatever you want to do. Uh, anyway, this machine itself, it has uh, I think 3 gigabytes or 4 gigabytes of RAM. It's more than enough for a couple of bots. Bear in mind that Profit Trailer is uh, CPU intensive and is RAM intensive. So if you have 10, 20 bots it's unlikely it's going to work on 4 gigabytes of RAM. Okay, It can be used on a, a small computer, any computer, as long as it has Windows, it will work. So, um, going back to what's the requirements, you know? It's very important that you have installed Java. So they recommend you go to this link, it's on the Wikipedia, on, on the Wikipedia from Profit Trailer, which I will show you here. Wikipedia is very in, in, you know, extensive, it has a lot of different things you can choose, you can find and the most important thing is installing it yourself in Windows. This is what I did. It, it explains to you, you have to extract of course the, the files. This is the link that I have here and when you open the link you'll be given multiple options. I choose the default OpenJDK 8, I download it, I install it very straightforward, there's nothing about it. Uh, I did restart the machine after installing it just for ease of mind. Um, and then you start, you have two options. The easy way for me is to use a, what we call Profit Trailer Manager, PT Manager. It helps, um, it, it helps save you a lot of time setting up new bots, new strategies, new things. If you want to use the harder way, which is the normal way, is you go to GitHub and you go to Profit Trailer, trailer Releases. So I'll show you both options, okay? So when you go to this link, you just go scroll down, download this file, Profit Trailer, the latest version, version is 2.4.59. If you go to Profit Trailer Manager, I'll leave you a link in the description as well to go to this one, and you can download PT Manager 069. So, Profit Trailer Manager, let's go with this one first. Click on the link, 
quite simply you will download the file as with most of these files they are execu executable so you need to unblock it as soon as it finishes downloading when you download the file you need to right click properties and find this little box saying unblock so you need to press on this because Windows will protect you from running random executables so unblock the file like this and then press OK then if your file is unblocked you can now extract all into whatever location you prefer and once it's done you should open the application properties file in any text notepad editor okay I use notepad plus plus you can use any you can use the normal uh, notepad file so I will edit this with notepad plus plus in here you can see the basic config of the file of uh, PT manager okay this uh, is the important piece you should write in this format which is a bit weird but this will create all your bots in the location called C profit trailer okay so co copy this into your file and use this configuration save it and double click profit trailer manager a Windows firewall pop-up will come out and you just allow access of course and this is profit trailer manager it shows you a string which is a randomized string but you need to use the first time you run this you just double click it copy it and then you press on this link localhost 10,000 10,000 is the port is the default port and here I'm going to put the string that you saw here any password you want this is just to access the PT manager and there you go you have one window which will show you any bot that you require that you are going to set up to set up a new profit trailer bot now it's quite simple press plus and create your own bot and create your bot with whatever name you want do not put any spaces in this this will be a directory when you first create your bots they are unmanaged which means profit trailer does not know about them you need to press on this little guy and you wait. You can keep adding bots as many as you want here. This does not start anything except the basic clean configuration of Profit Trailer. You need to be patient because these bots take a while to restart. I have first bot, it's just opening as you can see. PT bot first bot is now operational and with a blue dot, which means I can now configure this. To configure this, as it is now managed I press on this little thing you'll open a profit trailer config window I need to accept the risks and here you can put your profit trailer license so what I recommend is that you start with a free paper trading license to get this you can go to shop profit trailer free and choose this one PT paper license only paper trading it's basically test mode bots if you want to test out with real money or paper trading as well dedicated to Binance you can try this one or this one or this one just bear in mind this allows you three months of free trading in paper this allows you I think one month of free after that you have to pay the subscription this one is for free if you pay a subscription you can have infinite amount of paper trading bots so choose this option paper version free trial so start with this one please because it is a very steep learning curve okay so going back to our bot I already have a license so I'm going to go to my file and I'm going to copy my license key and input a password for my new first bot you can see here in the top it's on localhost 8081 that's my port every bot that you set up a new one it will come with a new port so it can be 8081 8082 it's automatically choosing a new port that is free okay I've input my license key a password for the bot pressing next and here you have uh, option for the exchange 
So if you want to trade in spot, you choose Binance. If you want to trade futures USDT, you choose futures. If you want to trade futures coin M, you choose futures coin. In my case, I'm going to try a futures USDT bot, which is my default option. And you need to input your API key from Binance. Even if it is in test mode, you need to add API keys because PT is going to keep querying the databases and the API to get the new prices and to get the action and everything. Even if it is in test mode, okay? Just copy paste your API keys and press next. Next step will be to choose either a public config or a saved config. So Profit Trailer already allows you to get you started with some configurations as a template. They are not necessarily updated, they do not necessarily work, so you really need to take some time. As, as you know, I will share with you my config, so you can copy exactly my config, but for the beginning you should choose any of this, and then change it all as soon as you start. So I'm going to choose Futures Long, because I'm only going to Long in this bot. Profit Trailer only allows you to either Long or Short per bot. You can do both, but it has to be two different bots. And I'll choose a name for it. So I'll choose, for example, Snow Futures USDT Long. Okay, now we have opened Profit Trailer in test mode. As you can see, it has zero balance, everything zero, 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 and it, this is the main dashboard. Here it tells you. Uh, a lot of things what's happening okay we'll go back to it later this is the balance this is the current value so it takes into consideration profit unrealized profit and realized profit here you can set up a start balance here will tell you the trend how is Bitcoin last 24 hours and also the how is ad, how are other coins such as Ethereum BNB XRP ADA gives you mar market cap some indicators and then here you have a summary of what your what your bot has done so far so in test mode bots the first thing you need to know is it has zero balance and another thing is it starts with BTC as the market of course in futures USDT you don't do BTC trading you do USDT trading so I'm going to go and change all the config and copy paste my config from what I shared to you guys configuration on profit trailer is done in two different ways this little cog in top you can choose configuration of the portal itself such as for example in user settings you need to define your test mode balance if you want notifications it can be notified you can be notified via discord or telegram this can be for a later time then SSL if you want to input and make it HTTPS which I recommend you do I just will not show you how to do it here signal providers so if you have used PSAR, if you want to use PSAR, you need to buy this uh, add-on, which is called PT Trading View Integration. It costs five euros a month or fifty euros a day, a year. Sorry, and then it allows you to integrate your alerts into Profit Trailer. The way to get it is the same. You go to the shop, and here you have add-ons, and here you have PT Trading View Integration. When you buy it they send you a link with a token ID the token ID is going to be something like signal and then random string your alerts have to be configured using this random string and I'll do it in a bit configuring the bot itself you have to go here and press config choose active config and here as you can see is a bunch of text there are different parameters as I told you this bot by default the config is all wrong so don't trust this don't start the bot with this the bot will work in very strange ways if you leave the default configuration so I share my pairs DCA and indicators config so starting with pairs as you can see here pairs I'll copy all of this and I'll paste it here and now you'll see what it does so this concludes my first video on how to set up Profit Trailer to be used with PSAR. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to config the whole thing in terms of parameters. See you in the next one.